episode in this build. Uh, this time we're going to start build a frame. And uh, uh, after what I learned from the version number one, it was uh, quite a hard bit of space. So what I will do here is put the controller in front with these cooling flanges uh, pointing forwards. Try to get the motor here and put the batteries underneath the seating. Uh, I will also try to push the fork a bit down because uh, I have no idea about the, the pressure from the ski. And I have some uh, possibility to make, to make adjustments here. I think it's about 50 or 60 millimeters. And then I can push it upwards. Um, yes, I will try to make it as light as possible. And uh, yes, this is going to be a thrilling. Take a closer look at it. The heavy part is where the reinforcements for the motor is. I have to use a 3 mm plate there to get it steady. And also, uh, I use 3 mm plate, no, 2 mm plate here. This part just to make it steady with the uh, fixing points for the drive shaft and uh, these fixing points are for the for the protection of the track band And the, the plate in the front here, I'm not that happy with that, but uh, if I wanted to fit the, the, the fuel tank from the dirt bike, I needed to make this as a cover, otherwise it would have been uh, snow coming into, the, coming into the engine bay. Yes, there it is, 16 kilos. Well, now the frame is finished and uh, I test fitted the motor and battery. I missed the controller and I weighed it all, everything, and it was as is now. But I didn't have the ski and the fitting for the ski. It was 97 kilos. So now I'm gonna take everything apart and paint it and also do the aluminum panels and start fitting all the electronics. So hopefully in the next uh, film we will see track band spinning. I look forward to that. Welcome back. <laughs>